Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have the Wild Turkey Distillers Reserve, 13 years old, 45.5% ABV, 91 proof, US proof. This bottle is something special because the age is odd, really odd. It's a prime number, it's a prime figure. Um, bad luck is often associated with the figure or with the number 13. But this bottle is particular for the Japanese market and there 13 is a lucky number. <sighs> yeah, we try. Probably we have luck with this bottle. And uh, let's have a look. Uh, what's written here on the box, it's from this complete style, it's different to the others. I had a few already and beside the uh, white turkey, I think I had the 101, uh, there's a 12 year old and there also the Russell's Reserve and the Russell Reserve Rye, they also come out of the white turkey distillery. Um, born from the father and son distilling genius of Jimmy and Eddie Russell. Yes, those two, uh, Jimmy Russell, the master distiller, and Eddie Russell, the associate master distiller. He has an age, I think he's around 50. Yes, probably. So Eddie Russell is a real master distiller himself, but <laughs> because Jimmy Russell is still alive, still in job, so he can only be the associate master distiller. So they two have an, uh, an experience of about 50, 80 years of combined distilling experience. I think 80 years. <laughs> Unbelievable. All those American distilleries, uh, big distilleries, have a, or, or keep their uh, roots with the families, the founding families, even when they are uh, um, public floating companies or in the possession of a uh, mega corporation, a global mega corporation, even then they hold their roots to the founding families as they have with the Russells. <clears throat> um, Wild Turkey 13 year old distillers reserve is Kentucky straight bourbon of the highest character. What else? <clears throat> Sorry. This special release bourbon has been carefully selected from the distiller's favorite reserve, barreled at lower proof and slowly matured in the low floors of the fabled bee warehouse, where cooler temperatures, higher elevation and greater air circulation combine to create a bourbon of exceptional quality. Not all is marketing. There are a few facts in here. Um, they are barreled at lower proof. That means uh, there's less strength of alcohol in the cask, which will not tear out that many uh, ingredients from the walls of the cask, from the staves of the casks. So lower uh, ABV in the cask will also result in, in less evaporation. <clears throat> with, uh, and then uh, the fabled B warehouse with cooler temperatures, so less maturation, less breathing of the casks between summer and winter, where the high temperatures on the roof uh, will uh, increase maturation. Uh, with notes of mellow oak, rich vanilla, hints of pear and long spicy finish, while Turkey 13 year old distillers reserve is a showcase of the world renowned craftsmanship of Jimmy and Eddie Russell and brilliantly reveals the bold and distinctive character of wild turkey bourbon. <clears throat> okay, isn't there more on the bottle? Established 1855. No, that's all. I heard that the casks used for this bottling uh, are type 4 or grade 4 charred barrels. Those barrels called alligator barrels. I'm sorry. Alligator barrels. What happens? Uh, the casks are toasted from the inside to bring a temperature up to 150 degrees centigrade so that the water in the staves is boiling, temperature is rising to 150 degrees as I said, and then 
cellulose of the walls will convert into sugar and those sugars will convert uh, into caramel and this brings the color into the whiskey as well as this slight sweet note. Um, then the cask is burned from the inside with a high flame, with a hot flame, so that a layer of charcoal is appearing in the inside. And this layer of charcoal is available in four grades, slightly, a little bit more, strong and extreme. And this extreme charcoal layer is called alligator jar. And why? Because the charcoal, you know this from your grill, uh, uh, breaks up into bricks, in small bricks. And if they still stay to the wall of this, uh, the cask, at the staves of the cask, then they, they tear apart and uh, the uh, appearance looks like the skin of an alligator. So those bricks on the inside of the cask. This is called an alligator jar. And this leads to a better filtering. Charcoal is a, a filter, a good filter, very porous filter, and this filters out the sharp ingredients in a whiskey. But there's also an intermediate zone between the charcoal and the stave. And in this intermediate zone, there is a lot of yeah, aromatic compounds uh, produced during this thermal treatment of the cask, so that there is the result of a lot of aromatic uh, substances we like in our whiskey. <sighs> Vanilla, caramel, of course, but non-typical for wild turkey. Typically, wild turkey is a lot darker, a lot more intense, and this 13-year-old had typically be more dark darker uh, than the 101 or uh, Rare Reserve or Russell's Reserve, 10-year-old, whatever, but it's not. So you have more of the fruity character of the distillery, of the distillery, of the, the wash, the fermented liquid. And there is something mm, a little bit like smokiness, but it's not smokiness, it's this aromatic Note from the oak, Alderlic. Ha. Spiciness is coming up. Hefty, strong, spicy. Mm but also mouth-watering, oakiness, long finish, oh, long and strong, a little bit sweet lollies. Boiled sugar. Well, uh, definitely not a bad one, but I prefer the more, the stronger, the more, the heavier uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbons from Wild Turkey. Well, this is directed to the Japanese market. Perhaps it's their taste they are producing here. Stay tuned with 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 whiskey.com. I only had two so far. Um, there's more to come, new bottle as well as old ones, and feel free to share this video with your friends.